Today I'm reviewing Scream Queen, My Nightmare on Elm Street, the documentary about Nightmare on Elm Street 2. This stars Mark Patton, Robert Englund, Jack Shoulder, David Chaskin, Robert Russler, Marshall Bell, Kim Mize, Clue Gallagher. Have you seen Nightmare on Elm Street 2? You know all those actors. But the documentary mostly focuses on Mark Patton and what he thought was going to be uh, his breakthrough role in a um, sequel to a successful uh, horror movie uh, kind of ruined that. This chronicles Mark's early days from a stage career, making it onto a movie, and then getting his part in A Night on Elm Street 2. Yeah, and also chronicles how he had to be a closeted actor, having to pretend he's straight for roles, which back in the 80s was something you had to do. There was different attitudes back then. But over time we learned that Mark has kind of embraced A Nightmare on Elm Street 2. It's one of those movies where when it first came out a lot of people didn't like it, but over the years it's kind of got a... Uh, it's kind of got a cold following now, especially with the LGBTQ community. When I was younger I didn't notice the subtext myself. Uh, it wasn't until I got older then I I realised, yeah, is it subtext or is it blatant? That's another discussion people have about that movie. Uh, what do you think? Because most people say Jessie is the first male scream queen. It might be the only male scream queen. Uh, and, yeah, of course, Mark Patton decided, you know, to leave acting because of what was happening. Of course, there were a few personal problems as well. So he left the acting business and moved to Mexico. But this documentary also details you know, homophobia and the media and the news and that type of thing. It was just, actually, when you look back at it and they show people's attitude, it really was quite horrible. It also details how as Mark has come to accept his role as a male scream queen and has actually embraced the title after the excellent Never Sleep Again was when he decided to come back and embrace the uh, convention circuit, starting to meet with fans, and of course we also get to catch up with some of the other stars of A Nightmare on Elm Street too, and give, they give their opinions on what the actual movie is about, but at the end of the day this is really Mark's story, how he had to deal with some horrible things during the 80s, uh, but like most attitudes have changed these days, which is a good thing. I found this to be a very insightful engaging documentary and a nice companion piece to Never Sleep Again. Maybe not as detailed as that but it's still really this is really Mark's story. If you're a fan of A Nightmare on Elm Street 2 check it out or even if you're not it is still worth watching and goes into some interesting places. So even if you're just interested in the analysis of A Nightmare on Elm Street 2 there's a bit of that as well and also the history of 80s horror. So I'd say check this out, it is well worth a watch. Okay, I'm Adam and I'll see you again soon.